there is so much misinformation out there on the internet and indeed in many doctor's offices about salt that I thought that this video might help you very much by answering seven simple questions about salt. And then I've got a bonus uh, little tip at the end that you may have never heard of before. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with over 20 years of clinical experience. Let me tell you seven facts about salt that you may not have known. Number one, salt is absolutely essential for life and enough salt is essential for optimal health. There are many doctors out there that imply that you need to try to eat as little salt as possible, uh, implying that zero salt would be the goal. This is absolutely untrue. It's unfounded in science or physiology. You need to salt your food to taste to realize optimal health. And this includes even people with congestive heart failure. The research is very clear that if you don't eat enough salt, your health is gonna suffer. The second fact about salt is that eating salt does not give you hypertension. This is a myth that is slowly but surely dying across the world. It was very popular a few decades back and some uninformed doctors still repeat this lie uh, to their patients and their patients suffer because of it. Salt will not give you high blood pressure and it will not make existing high blood pressure worse. The third fact about salt that you need to know is that eating salt to taste does not cause heart disease. It does not cause heart attacks. It does not cause strokes. Salt is good for you. Enjoy your food salted to taste and your heart will actually thank you. The fourth fact you should know about salt is that it does not naturally contain iodine. Iodine was added to salt starting back around World War I. Uh, any natural real salt that you buy is not going to have very much iodine in it at all. And so I would recommend that you eat the iodine rich foods that I talk about in another YouTube video. The fifth fact you should know about salt is that not getting enough salt in your diet can actually make your blood sugar higher. This is very important for people suffering from prediabetes, type 1 diabetes, or type 2 diabetes. If you're also trying to eat a very, very low salt diet, it can actually be making your blood sugar worse. Salt your food to taste. The sixth fact that you need to know about salt is that much of the artisanal salt that you can buy uh, in grocery stores, the uppity frou-frou salt, it often comes from evaporated modern ocean water. And this can actually be full of microplastics and nanoplastics that are most certainly not good for your health. What you want is a salt that is mined from deep underground. Now, I've got a list right here of all the different salt mines in different countries of the world. Wherever you live in the world, you need to find a, a, a salt that's mined naturally from deep under the ground so it's protected from all the plastic in our environment. Also protected from Chernobyl and Fukushima and the other nuclear waste that may be floating around in the modern ocean. Here on the North American continent, Nisha and I love Redmond's Real Salt because it's mined right here in North America. It's under 350 feet of bentonite clay. They, it has a natural pink color to most of it. Uh, you can actually get salt rocks from them. Mmm, tasty. Uh, they have many different varieties, but that's we use them because they're in North America. So whatever continent you're on, you need to buy mined natural salt that comes from an ancient ocean that wasn't polluted. And fact number seven that you should know about salt is that much of the pink Himalayan salt that you can buy in the big box stores is actually adulterated or even fake Himalayan pink salt. It's very easy to add a little pink food coloring to that and slap the name Himalayan on it. There's actually not any federal guidelines about that. So companies uh, that are less than ethical can do that and they can take regular evaporated ocean salt and make a huge profit markup by calling it Pink Himalayan. And now the bonus fact about salt that doesn't involve your health, but it does involve the health of your pets. See, the fact is that every mammal on the planet also needs salt 
just like you do. And so make sure that you give your cats and dogs and any other mammals that you may be in charge of their diet, make sure they get a little salt too because they need it for their health. If you know someone that still has a salt phobia, please consider sharing this video with them. It might change their mind and it could improve their health. If you have a question about your health, your nutrition, even your medications that you'd like to ask me directly, then become a patron on patreon.com. There's a link down in the show notes. It's a quick sign up and you have direct access to me. And I do three additional live Q&A videos on my Patreon platform each and every week. This is Dr. Barry. See you next time.